Um, when I got done with my college education. So I finished Eastern Illinois University in 2006, but then I did some extra education to make sure I had all my meteorology credentials. So I've been doing TV now for 16 years. Why did I want to become, I'm gonna go with meteorologists, because reporting and meteorology are a little different. Um, reporting is doing stories about the news or the community, which I do do some of that, um, but I really love the weather, which is what I get to do every day. Um, and I always loved thunderstorms. When I was a kid, I would go outside and look at the, the clouds swirling overhead. If there was a tornado warning, I had the, the local meteorologist on and I would watch everything that Bob had to say and I wanted to understand what was happening. Um, I've always been fascinated with the weather. It, it makes my brain happy, hungry. Good. Thank you. Good morning. What do you want to be when you were in second grade? What, what, what did I want to be when I was in second grade? I wanted to be just like my mom and dad and run a retail store. Mm -hmm. They had a small business growing up where we sold everything from fishing lures to hunting bows. We had tanning beds, a video department, back in the day when there were VHS tapes, hey. Um, I wanted to work retail like my mom and dad because that's what I knew. It wasn't until I went to college that I realized that weather was a job for me. Did I go through anything hard as a child? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, probably the hardest thing for me growing up was learning how to communicate well with my sister. I had a sister who's, I still do, she's four years younger than me, and we did not speak the same language. Granted, we both spoke English, but we, we fought a lot, and we've learned a lot as adults how to treat each other with kindness and respect and to listen to each other, and it has worked out well for us as adults. So if you guys can do it as kids, it's even better. Enjoy your sisters and brothers. I know they stink, but we can enjoy them, right? Yeah. It's <laughs> a good question. Thank you. Hi, my name is Siona, and I have a question for you. Okay. How do you know when the, what the weather will be? I know what the weather will be because I know everything because I'm a mom. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, we use the internet to go online and look at weather models. They're like computer kind of prognostic tools that show us how the air should be moving above us. And so we can figure out if it's going to rain, snow, um, if it's going to be windy, hot, or cold. And we use those weather models to then kind of boil it down to what's happening in Union today, what's happening in Florence today and we make it into a daily forecast. But it's a lot of stuff on computers. It is also important though to step outside. You have to know what's, you literally need to stick, stick your head outside sometimes. It's a good question, thank you. Do you have any talents or hobbies? Do I have any talents or hobbies? Oh boy, you ready? You guys ready for a list? <laughs> yeah. My favorite hobby is I am a seamstress. So you know how to use like a sewing machine? Yeah. It's, I, I sew, I make all kinds of stuff, which is actually how I got to know your teacher. Um, I also um, have learned to play hockey. My daughter, who is a sixth grader now, is learning to play hockey, so I learned with her. Um, we like to ski, and I recently started riding dirt bikes. Ooh, wow. Because apparently I have a death wish. <laughs> and a lot of bruises. But yeah, we like to have fun. We like to do things that take us outside. It's important that to sounds exciting. Good question. Thank you. Do I have any regrets? <laughs> oh, so many. Um, so everything that happens on TV is live. It's captured. It's broadcast, and you can't go back. Um, there was a day where 
I fell on my TV. <laughs> I slipped out of my heel and I hit the ground. That was a little embarrassing. Uh, there was another day that a uh, bee, a wasp, came up behind me on the camera. So it was one of our cameras out in the field, but this bee came up into the camera lens and it looked like it was the size of you. <laughs> and I got so scared that I screamed and I ran off camera and I went viral. So I kind of regret that moment because it was a little embarrassing. Oh, we'll have to look for that. Find yeah, all you have to search is B B E E meteorologist, yeah. and you will find one of my greatest television events. I love it. Yeah. Great question. question, Thank Dominic. you. What brings you joy outside your job? What brings me joy? I think one of the number one things that brings me joy is fresh air. I love being outside. I will do anything to get outside and enjoy nature, enjoy um, getting away from these things and tablets. Um, I feel like I have a much clearer head when I just get outside. It's a beautiful place to be. What are you thankful for? What am I thankful for? I think the number one thing that I am thankful for are my children. Because, not just because kids are kids and it's great to have children, but they have taught me how to be a better person. They have taught me patience. They have taught me kindness. They have taught me to just kind of stop down and enjoy life. Because you guys are only this size so long. And you guys are only this big and at this place in your life for so many minutes. And if you're not there and you're not present as a, as a parent, you're missing out. So they, they taught me a lot about how to be a better person. Thank you. You're welcome. Is your job hard? Is my job hard? Of course it is. I'm wrong half the time. Don't you know that? No, I'm kidding. Um, my, my job is actually very hard. So um, to be a meteorologist, you have to go through a lot of schooling and do a lot of math. So you learn calculus and all these big complex equations to try and figure out what's happening in the atmosphere. And on a daily basis, I have to do calculations. I have to figure out this big complex picture that is the weather. And the thing about the weather is we're not always right. Sometimes we get it wrong and viewers get mad and angry. They're not very <laughs> nice to us. So we have to then explain why we got it wrong, what the models did or did not show us, or sometimes that we're just human and we indeed messed up. So yes, it can it's be. It's basically because the weather might change. You never know what it is. Oh my gosh, this young man is the most insightful person I've ever met in my life. <laughs> What technology do I use to predict the weather? I use, um, I mean, I always start with what did my chief meteorologist have last night? So the technology of the old brain is a great place to start. Then we go to the computers. So much of what I do is all computer based, but we use websites to kind of look at the weather models. We also have a weather program called Barron, um, and it's a, it's a graphic system. And so it actually shows us how the rain should be moving in that day. It shows us, um, what thunderstorms should look like, how, if there's going to be rotation for tornadoes. Um, so yeah, everything is pretty much computer-based. Yeah. Um, do you always have the same thrive? Who or what helps me thrive? I think positive people make me thrive. As you guys know, sometimes people are negative and they have very negative emotions and negative feelings. And that's okay to have, but when you can be a positive person, not only yourself, but surround yourself with positive people, it makes life really enjoyable and it makes you thrive and it makes you better and it makes you have more fun. So find those people in life that make you happy because they are inherently happy. That's amazing. Isn't that great advice? Questions on, on the floor, and so um, 